Aerodynamics is not margins anymore. It's a pretty huge step forward if you really understand how it works. If you can have, in the same way as a power meter, something that gives you feedback, direct feedback all the time about the CDA, it allows you to basically train into your reflexes, into your spine, an understanding of actually how much a small change makes to the aerodynamics. It's not just about producing as much power. It's not just about getting the, low, the lowest number on the CDA, but it's so much more behind it. The key is to have like the, the partners that we have around us that is helping us prepare. And we're now here on the velodrome here in Barcelona together with the Body Rocket, collecting experience and data. And that's going to help us do the best possible preparation for the race. One of the things that really caught my attention there compared to what I'd seen in any other system before was basically how it was put together. What Body Rocket had done was approaching in the same way that we do in a wind tunnel. The advantage I think with Body Rocket is that you get uh, uh, real data like out on the road. Like it's not just something you do uh, in the wind tunnel once a year, but you really collect data constantly and it just gives you so much bigger uh, understanding. So the purpose of using Body Rocket is to really optimize the aerodynamics for the athletes on the bike. Uh, Body Rocket system is the only system that really gives us direct CDA feedback and we can actually see where on the bike even the forces are changing. There's one thing to test statically either on the turbo trainer or in the wind tunnel but to keep the position outside for many hours is really challenging. So together with Body Rocket, I hope to have a system that's always validating my position outside on the real roads. But in the coming years, it's going to be huge. I think, uh, yeah, we haven't seen the potential yet. Something like when you go into a race like this, like Hawaii, it's so much people say, you, you can't win first time trying. And I think we're proving people wrong there that actually we, uh, we can go to, into a World Championship event like we did in, in St. George and take it, uh, surprise the world how, how well prepared we can be and I think it's one race that I'm missing on my CV, like Kona. All the athletes that has won there in the past and I obviously want to put my name on that list.